With regards to the agile transformation, you know, we as Philips currently are in a spot, uh, at least in IT, uh, where we've gone through a certain growth curve. And uh, we're now at the point where we can let go a little bit in IT and spread our knowledge and the things that we've learned across the organization. Agile is a, it's a mindset, it's a way of behaving, and a way of thinking. And of course, there's people in the organization that still have the old traditional way of working, and for good reasons. I mean, we've been really successful with that in the past. So that is typically one of the obstacles that you see a lot within our uh, organization. And the way that we engage those guys is to keep the conversation going. So, you know, that particular way of thinking and a way of behaving, it is there for a reason. And to keep the conversation going with these guys, provide them small proof points with what we've learned elsewhere in other companies or in the organization is a really good way of engaging also those people and try to get them on board in the Agile transformation. Um, if I look at it from an organizational perspective, one of the things that helped tremendously was executive buy-in. So we got one of the top guys saying this Agile thing, it's a really good idea and we should have it for the entire IT department and for, you know, for entire Philips. Um, and what he also said was, so listen guys, I want you to drive this and just let me get out of your way and get all the obstacles out of the way as well. And that's, you know, that's a detail where I, where I typically think is that that kind of, you know, helps engaging the organization and, and helps also us to be empowered to do certain things. So those were, uh, you know, those were key things in our Agile transformation. And what you do have to have is a guiding team of you know, fanatics and believers in this concept to help also the people to know what to do when they are starting their own Agile journey. A couple of my key takeaways from this journey is, first of all, if you want sustainable change, You've got to have a team that actually perseveres through all the obstacles because if you go through an agile transformation, especially in a big company like Philips, you're going to hit certain roadblocks and you have to go through those roadblocks um, and keep on going as well because else, you know, because else you're going to have that, that peak of, yes, we're going to do this. And then all of a sudden it just drops off and people forget about it. So that perseverance is absolutely one of the key things that I found were instrumental to the agile transformation in Philips. Mm -hmm.